Hi friends, welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I will show you how to fit up a slip-on flange on an eccentric reducer. Let us mark the center lines of the flange and the reducer. To mark the center line of the reducer, I am going to show a quick method, but this method is only for experienced fitters. I have attached the video link that will teach you the basic method. Put the reducer on a level plate and check the squareness with a right angle, you will see a gap between the right angle and the reducer. Slowly, rotate the reducer clockwise and anti-clockwise. You will see, at some points, the reducer touches the right angle, at the top, and at the bottom. This means, that now, the reducer sits on its straight side. Now, lock the reducer from both sides, to restrict it from rotation. Put a right angle on the face of the reducer as shown. Measure the distance from the right angle to the outer face of the reducer. Make it equal by moving the right angle. Mark lines where the right angle touches the reducer as shown. Transfer this marking to the outer face later. Put the flange on a square plate, hub side up and mark the center line. Put, for numbers of nuts or plate pieces, inside the flange as shown, the thickness shall be equal to the pipe thickness or as per the drawing. Now, put the reducer on the nuts in the flange. Match the center lines of the flange and the reducer. Tack weld 0 to 180 and 90 to 270 degree sequences. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.